Good day, friends! This is lesson number 6 of the Options are Simple video series. And today I want to tell you and explain what option Greeks are, what they are and why these values are so important with trading options. Today we're going to have something kind of a review of Options Greeks. I will demonstrate everything, but please subscribe to our option trading channel. I think this is one of the best channels there are, dedicated to options trading on stock market, because it contains a lot of useful information. So here we go. I now have an option board open, here is the Bitcoin futures. And here we can immediately see call options on the left and put options on the right. Here we have the theoretical price column. And then we have the Greek calculations for the option strikes. Now we take the central strike, which is around 27,000 and correlate it with the Bitcoin futures. Now we look to the left and see 0.63, which is the delta value of the option. What is delta? A delta is the first derivative of the Black and Scholes model. Therefore, delta means how much of the basic asset the option contains. Let me show you a simple example. Let's say there are 1000 contracts for one Bitcoin. The long position on this option is 27th call. Let's open the PL chart and see. A couple of seconds. The chart has opened, and immediately we can see here the delta parameter. Per 1000 purchased options of the 27th strike, there was a multiplication by 1000, and we got not 0 0.63, but 625 deltas. To recap, we bought 1000 call options of strike 27 and now on our PNL profit and loss position is equivalent to 625 futures. The delta is actually the market risk we have in our option position. We can now see what the delta will do. Right here, click on the delta and the chart will be displayed that show how the delta will behave during a change of the basic asset. The fat line here is the expiration line. We can see that the expiry is coming soon. And if the option is in the money, it expires as follows. For a thousand of options, we get a thousand of futures. If the option is out of the money, it's a different story. If the price of the call option is below 26 we get zero. There will be no delivery and the delta will be zero. But before the expiration time, if we look at the time curves, focusing on a specific date, we can estimate how much delta our option position contains. The more the option is in the money, the higher its delta will be, and therefore the more likely it will be that with the execution of that option the delivery of the futures will occur. The lower the price, the less this probability is. Naturally, sold call options, long position, have a positive delta. In the options board, which is also a calculator, we can see that call options purchased have a positive delta. With out-of-the-money options, the delta tends to zero, while with in-the-money options, the delta tends to one. With put options, it's the other way around. Put options have a negative delta. When the price of the basic asset is less than the strike price, you and I see a delta that tends to zero. The more the put option is in the money, the more actively the delta will tend to minus one. At the central strike, the delta is about 0.5. Why? Because there's a 50-50 chance that the option is expiring in the money or not in the money. With delta, it's pretty simple. Delta is the basic Greek that shows the amount of market risk, specifically how much of the basic asset futures our option combination contains. The next Greek is the Gamma Greek, the second derivative of the Black and Scholes model, the derivative of the delta. What is gamma? It is measure of how much the delta will change if the price of the basic asset changes by one point. That's why gamma is now minus three, because it is a very small value. Take a look at this. It has a positive value everywhere, because by default it's shown as a long position. Get this straight. The gamma of purchased options is always positive. The gamma of sold options is always negative. What does a positive gamma mean? There is a term in options trading, gamma positive strategy. It means that the strategy is a trending strategy. That is, when the price of the basic asset rises, the delta grows. When the price of the basic asset decreases, when gamma is positive, delta become lower or may become negative. So, 
the number of futures in the options combination increases when the growth happens, and on the contrary, when the fall happens, it's reduced or it's short increases. All option selling strategies are gamma negative. Accordingly, by delta hedging, we protect the sold gamma, compensating for the delta risk. Now let's look at the chart. Let's take the same thousand of call option contracts. Their delta is 618. Their gamma is 442, 10 to the minus third power. But if you divide by a thousand, you get 0.44. What does that number mean? It means that if the price changes by one point, the delta will change by 0.44. The more points the delta changes, the more the delta will change. Gamma is very important parameter. First of all, it is used to estimate the degree of delta risk. In a delta neutral strategy, the delta will be near neutral. Let's say you sold some strangle. Before you read in a book which said, this is a delta neutral strategy. It has no market risk. Nonsense. Do you know why? You'll see for yourself right away when you witness your empty pocket. You have to watch the gamma. How your delta changes. The market is not standing still. The price of the basic asset is changing. You need to understand what will happen to your strategy when the price moves. This is what Gamma tells you. How much market risk there will be when the price changes. And if we're talking about sold option, the risk will be the opposite of the price movement. The delta will be negative and only the Gamma will answer the question, what will the delta look like? You should always look at the gamma very carefully, especially in delta neutral strategies. Gamma is the main parameter of market risk there. You can see the following on the chart. The maximum gamma is at the 27,000 strikes of the call options we bought. The maximum time award is where the price corresponds to the maximum strike of this option. That's where the maximum change in delta will be. Next we see some kind of contraction. The less time is remained till expiration, the higher the gamma will be. The longer the time till expiration, the lower the gamma. Again, if we're looking at sold options, we have a negative gamma. The next Greek is also very important, theta. This is where it is located, the third column. By default, theta is always negative. That's because the time decay is in effect. So, what tells us the theta? How many points a given option will lose in the next 24 hours if the basic asset price and volatility are unchanged? Our call 27 has a theta of 92 at a theoretical price of 485. That means that tomorrow, in 24 hours, the theoretical price of the option will be 92 points lower and it will actually lose 20% of its award. Here, however, not all the time award is shown. It is better to look at the call of strike option 27,500. It's out of the money. It contains a time award of 236. And now we see that it has a theta of 93. This means that in 24 hours, this option must be 93 points cheaper. If the basic asset and the IV remain unchanged, one third of the time award will be lost and it will be worth 140 points. That's the kind of time decay that happens with trading options. All purchased options have a negative theta. That's because there is a time decay. Put or call, it doesn't matter. Everywhere they lose in value due to time decay. We can see all this on the PL chart. The thinnest curve is for today. As the expiration date approaches, the time decay takes place, which means we're losing the award of options purchased. Here's the value. 1000 of 27 call options purchased. Note that the size of the theta is 92,251 points. That is $92 divided by 1000. Because we have a price step of 1000 options on one Bitcoin. And so we have a time decay of $92 for the next 24 hours. Let's switch over and look at the theta curve. 
You and I can see that the time decay is $92, and the next day the time decay will increase even more and be almost $110. And another day later, the time decay will be $140. The time decay speeds up as the expiration date approaches. That's all I can briefly say about the Terra. You can model it yourself, make calculations, compare different strikes. The next Greek is the Vega. The value of Vega shows how much the theoretical option price will change if the IV changes by 1.1%. .1%. Here it's simple. Let's say right now the theoretical price of our call option 27 is 509. The current IV is 45. And so the Vega tell us that if the IV changes, it becomes 46 and a half or 44 and a half. If it becomes 46 and a half, goes up by 1, then the theoretical price will change by 7 points. So it won't be 486, it will be 493. Let's check it. Let's change the value from 45 to 55. If the IV went up by 10 points. Note that the theoretical price immediately went up. It was 486 and became 588. So in fact we multiply this Vega 7 by the value of the change in the IV. This tells us how, if volatility goes up, the time premium of the option will go up or down if volatility goes down. On our PL chart, we can look at the Vega itself, and there's a thousand of our purchased calls. At this point, the Vega is 7196 points, for example. This tells us that if the IV changes by 1%, then the award for the purchased call options will change by 7000 points. Pretty immensely, doesn't it? We divide the 7000 by 1000 and get $7. So the award will be $7 more for a thousand options we bought. As the expiry date gets closer, the value of the Vega decreases because the time award decreases. Accordingly, the sensitivity of the options to IV changes also decreases. As the expiration date approaches, on the one hand, the time decay increases, and on the other hand, the sensitivity to changes in volatility decreases. Vega decreases as the expiration date approaches. You can clearly see it now. Tomorrow 5700, the day after tomorrow 3800, and at the time of expiration there will be no more impact. The price will be zero and it won't matter what the IV is now. There are all the basic Greeks that are out there. You can model everything in our terminal. Substitute values. Look at different strategies on options bought. Options sold. Different series. Different expiration dates. If you want to really digest this material, you have to feel it with your hands. Look at all the Greeks carefully. Repeat what we've learned and figure it out. I've done my best to explain you everything for now. I'll give you a task. Look at the Greeks in the options board of the AE terminal. Look at the market risk, the delta. Look at the rate of change in market risk, gamma. Look at the time decay, tera. Look at the sensitivity of volatility change, vega. Look at call options, put options, different expiration dates, different assets, ether futures, medic, doggy coin. Try different financial instruments. This concludes my overall review on Options Greeks. If you liked this video, give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, ask questions in the comments, I try to answer every one of them. Have a successful options trading, I wish you all the best, goodbye.